Hi, I'm Paul at One Man One Dog. So this is Berlingo Micro Camper and it's a car camping holiday. We're in Rill in Wales and we're at Four Winds Campsite and I visited this campsite last year. The first time I went car camping in the Berlingo when I'd only just made a bed. Um, I'll put a link to the video at the end. But yeah, so it's... <laughs> You heard this baby crying. So, so it's Saturday today. Got here on Friday. Um, just set the tent up and chilled out and that. Um, but last night weren't that cold. Um, I had the gas heater on. I'll show you all my stuff after. But it weren't that cold. So, okay. Catch up with you in a bit. Shut up. You can hear Darren and my kids and Joanne. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad. It's nine o'clock. Just gone for a walk. No wonder it's gone for a It's because it's blowing again. Just look at this, a fuse round me. The dog. If you look over there in the distance, you can't see it from this position there. But it's got cloudy now. farms out to sea. Don't know how well you can see them. These hills there, we're going to walk up them later. This week at least. Okay, carry on walking. Right, so I'm back from a walk. The solar panel is disconnected from when I fitted the power socket panel. So, let's connect it, get the solar panel out. Right, you can't see very well, but the red clip there is a positive of the charge controller. And at the back is a black clip, the negative of the charge controller. So, just got to wire these two in now off the solar panel and stick the solar panel outside. Right, that's the wires connected. Stick the solar panel outside. Jobs are good and charge going into it. But if you look closely here, it's got a straight line for charge and a dotted line and it says over voltage. Well, the dotted line is flashing lights and the light's flashing. So I'm gonna get the manual out and have a look at that. I'm not sure that's right. Right, well, there's the car set up from last night. You can see Orion's coat, my jacket. Hot water bottles. <sighs> There's the power socket panel. The heater. Now, I tried the heater last night and the air was really cold in my car and it kind of just took the edge off it. But it's only 150 watt. Um, seven quid off eBay from China. Not much cop really. I think I could do with a 500 watt one, but I'll think about that when I get an extra battery. So there's the solar panel facing the sun. <laughs> Crash down. So this is Kyle, my nephew, with his dragon kite. Hi, so it's R3 and it's been red hot today. Um, 
absolutely boiling. The tent is now in shade, but look at this, what we're on. Oh yes. So, it's half three in the afternoon on Saturday, and if you can see here, the solar panel is in complete shade, right? But if you go and look inside, I'll just show you now, it's still pumping power through. So, as you can see, charge is still going into the battery. If you look on air, if you look on air, this was 11.7 when I was running it last night. So now, if you can see, 12.8. So it's put a good bit of extra voltage into it. Right, I brought my weather station with me. So if you look here, 24 degrees, well, 24.4 is what it is now inside the Berlingo. But it did go up to 29.4 earlier on today, but it's dropped a bit now. And if you can look, I've got a remote that's outside. 16 degrees outside, but it's in the shade. Right, we've just come for a walk down the lane. It's 0.73 mile. And if you look in this tank here, I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but this goldfish. At least seven. Can you see any? Yeah. Just see the. All I can see is the reflection. Robin is <laughs> in his new carrier. He's been chewing it. Now I've got a tired little dog. So it's quarter past eight at night. The dog's knackered and we've got the heater on. And I'm boiling the kettle for hot water bottles. But this is my new gas eater I got off Amazon. Right. So good night. Twenty to eight. Orion's woke up, had his breakfast. He had rice crispers, didn't you? Hey. Eh? His nose. Eh? It's been raining for hours now, and we aren't in at late. Last time I was away, it leaked all over my stuff. You can see it's raining, but it's still charged going into the battery. The panel's still outside. It says it's 11.7 outside and 17.9 inside the car. The dog's nipped my chair in front of the fire. What a nightmare I've had with this LED strip. The driver's side fell off, now this side's falling off. 
We use car interior glow. What's the matter with high temperature? It's this finish, it just won't stick to it. I have to do that when I come home. Right, so it's half nine. And why does it always rain on bank holidays in the UK? I don't know. But there's nothing much to do. So I'm going to make something. I've been sat here for three and a half hours or more. Um, bit bored now, so I'm going to make something. So underneath the car here, I'll show you now. Underneath the car there, there's a gap. And as you can see, I've used small pieces of plastic modular shelving and taped them together, but there's a massive gap there. So I've got a piece of Corex here. I've got another piece of Corex. So I'm going to cut it to shape and make a skirt for the car. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I've cut the Corex around my wheel like that. Goes along here. I'll do the next piece but there's a piece of metal behind there you can see the silhouette of it I'm going to use magnets magnetic strip and it'll hold it in place really firm <laughs> okay so these are scrap pieces of Corex that someone gave me as you can see they're all dirty it's got dirt inside the cells, so I'll, I've drew a line down my middle. Cut this piece now. Instantly, miles better. Just got to do a bit there that goes to the wheel, but I'm going to leave that while it's raining. This will do for now. Okay. Bloody rain. Right, this privacy blind I made, I don't know if it's took on moisture in my car, but it's kind of bowed out and it don't fit now. So I'm going to just trim some off the edges and fit it properly. Look at this little one. Bored out of his skull. Right, I've trimmed the edge. It fits better, but it's still bowed. Um, but that'll do. Right. Look at this ugly seatbelt here. <laughs> now look, I had a spare piece of faux fur that I bought off eBay years back and I dug it out and <laughs> let's hope a Ryan doesn't attack it. <laughs> right, the seat has been running from 6 o'clock this morning. It's now 10.27 and it's still running. I've had it on low and it's burning really slow. Um, but these are like a pound of gas cartridge, so it's mega cheap that, and it's kept it lovely and warm in here. Last time I went camping at Dinner Farm in Ross on Sea, I was freezing all the time. I haven't been cold today though, and it is cold. Well, it's cold outside. I knew this would happen. It should be sat on this line going across here, and it's not. So that's a double skin mat there, and because it's not sat on it, it's leaking all over my floor. Right, so the gas has just run out. It's now now 11:23, so it's lasted five hours 23 minutes for a pound. It's not just kept it warm, it's been red hot in here, so it's well worth a pound. Can't believe the solar panels still putting charge into it. It's hammering it down, it's proper cloudy, and it's still putting charge in. I bought a mono crystalline, I think that's how you say it, panel instead of a polycrystalline. I'm a mono crystalline, yeah, I'm confusing you all. The mono crystalline works better in dull conditions and it's better for the UK. 
if I've not confused you too much. <laughs> Right, so it stopped raining about 20 minutes ago. We're just going for a quick dog walk, and when I say we, I mean me and my dog. My brother's gone out with the kids and Joanne for a meal. So, here's Orion. I'm going this way. I think roughly there and back, it's about a mile and a half. Right, so we've come to the end of a lane. Just a bit further down, but it goes across muddy fields with cattle in and I'm not walking across there, I'm not getting full um, as it's just been hammering it down so this is where we are there's Orion we've come from that way just goes down there for about five minutes and then it's a footpath like I said across fields so, we're heading back, this way, come here you, come here you, come here. Right, just been a 1.4 mile walk and it started raining, so I just got back in time. Stay there you. This is all I've heard for two days now. A crying little puppy. Who's a crybaby? Eh? Who's a crybaby? Eh? You're very tired and you're crying. You can't play with the kids. <laughs> so this is Kyle and he's drawing a picture on the skirt that goes under the car in marker. This is what he's done so far. Really good, isn't it? So, an innocent sleeping dog and no fur on the seatbelt. Little devil pulled it off and ripped it to pieces. <laughs> I said he would. So innocent. Did you get it? I'm filming him. Uh, don't move it. Don't move to get the air. Oh, he's waving, look. He's waving. He's waving. Yeah. What are you doing? Ah. Tell me when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Orion's crashed out and I've got the fan heater on. It's, if you can see, 20.9 in there. It was 18 before, so it's rolls it by two degrees. Got a warm little dog. 
Right, it's gone up to 21 degrees. Lovely and warm in here. Right, so it's half eight at night and it's going dark, but listen, all the kids having fun. Morning, seven o'clock Tuesday. The sun's actually starting to rise and it's quite warm. It's 7.52 and he's just woke up. It's going to take him a walk. Okay, so it's 8 o'clock and I'm taking my dog for a walk. I'm just walking up the country lanes. So, here we go. I don't know how well you can see, but down here on this post, the one centre of the screen, the white one, there's a bird of prey sat on it. Come on. It's huge, so. See it fly off there. Uh, flew down into the fields to the next post. Come on son. So that bird of prey was a buzzard and it sneaked up on it as best as you can in orange and it was a buzzard and it flew off. Have a look at this little archer there. Two farm dogs have just come running out, going off the reds. Sorry, I had to make a quick escape. <laughs> right, right, him. This way. Right, come on around. have lots of wings. Oh there it is. Come on. Well that was fun. About five dogs come out and was all following us, barking their heads off. Border collies plastered in mud, a Labrador plastered in mud, a little terrier. Um, like, what are you doing near our farm? <laughs> so I quickly did one. I'm not having five dogs attack a Ryan. So, yeah, we've got an our toes. We're heading back now. Right, so there's a trick point behind us. We've made it, everyone's done it. But check this view.
I hope he's not rolling in fox poop. Yeah, like last time. Right, the steps going up are a little bit better than when we first came. Yeah, I know. Quarter past nine. Good night. As you seen, I was up at three o'clock in the morning to use the toilet. The dog jumped out of the car, tried to get him in. He's growling, being nasty, trying to bite me. So he ended up in the cage all night. And he's not going back in the car now. This is about the third time he's done it this week. And he's bit me a couple of times too. He's very, very naughty. <laughs> Right, so I've been having problems with the solar charger. The wires at the bottom, I don't know whether they're thick enough gauge or the holes that hold it underneath are quite awkward to get it in. And the wires kept on coming out and it's not charged. It didn't charge yesterday and it's not been charging today. So my battery's gone flat. But my brother Darren has just sorted the wires out underneath because he's good at fixing things and electrics. So got it sorted this is all he's done from Friday when I put him in the car cries We've just been, me and Joanne have just gone a walk around the marina and the kids have stayed here crabbing. So I'll have a look at some of the crabs they've caught.
Robin. Right, I've been having problems with this solar charger. As you can see, this light air battery is flashing. So I've got the manual out and had a look at it and it means the battery is really long. So I had a look at the manual and my brother who had had this before me had changed the settings on it to load only so it didn't charge the battery at all. So all this time camping, and last time at dinner farm, it's not been charging my battery, it's been going to load. <laughs> sort of sorted it anyway. 5 to 12 or nearly. This is the temperature outside. And that's it in the car. Absolutely red hot. Right, I've just put this piece of hardboard there, screwed it in there. So um, this is split in here. Got a split there, going up here, because when you step on it, it drops in that gap. So um, just done that. Just made this 10 meter wiring loom to go on my solar panel because it's around the back of a car, out of the sun, at 12.33 in the afternoon and the solar panel's out of the sun. Orion's in the shade, out of the sun, because it's 32 degrees in the sun, or so my thermometer says. So I don't want him getting red at. Hi, so it's Thursday the 30th and today is our last full day. So, I've been doing my solar panel and stuff and wiring as you can see, but I've been packing most of my stuff up really, um, so I can just drop the on in tomorrow and set off before dinner, because I've been told that it's going to rain tomorrow afternoon, I Darren will go mad because he hates dropping the tent in the rain and he gets all stressed and angry, so <laughs> I want to get it done before and give him an hand. Right, okay, catch up with you in a bit. So Orion slept in the cage last night because there's no way he's getting in the car and biting me at 3 o'clock in the morning. He's just in there chilling out now. He's heard kids. Probably thinks it's Darren's lot. Quiet baby. Right, this morning, this gap here must be acting like a cold sink and all the cold air drops into it because this morning when I got up, it was like cold air was coming out of it um, while I was sat there. So, when I get back and I've finished camping for the year, I'm gonna strip all the units out and I'm gonna insulate the car properly, put an um, insulated layer on my floor, do something with this under air. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the back of the solar panel. As you can see there, it's soldered in, so I can't attach that cable that I've just made until I get home, because I've not got a soldering iron, not got a hook up, don't want a solder on holiday. So I'll have to do as it is now. I'm coming home tomorrow anyway. So this is the inside, and it's the label for the awning 
but it's actually a standard motor chalet. So, NR awnings, Todd and Lanx, so it's made in the UK. Todd in the northwest of England. It's cotton. Yeah, just thought I'd show that for people. Right, so it's 20 past five in the afternoon, or tea time really, and it's gone really cold. Temperatures dropped, um, the sun went down ages ago, it's been cloudy for ages, but I've got my heater on. Ryan's just had his tea, beans and sausage, and kibble. So we're going sitting in Darren's tent later and chilling out. Right, the battery has gone really low. Um, it's nearly on empty because it's been on charge all day and it's still flashing. That red light that's flashing means that the battery's low. So it's putting charge in it but slowly. But I've extended the lead, I'll show you now. Right, as you can see the loom's coming out. What I made before. Goes along here. Out here. And I've just joined it to the original one with tape for now. So, what extends it? But when I get home, I'm going to take that off and solder this orange and yellow one in. Right, I'm trying to show you as much as possible on my last day. Have a last full day anyway. We we'll go home tomorrow, like I said. So, this is a solar panel with fairy lights, garden fairy lights. So, if I touch it like that, I've made this Corex box. It's not perfect, but it's like that. Right, I'm going to jump out of there. Is it in the back? Paul! <laughs> right okay for a bit of fun here's some recommendations of what to use car camping stay there ryan so here we go for the adults is vintage cider <laughs> shut up vintage cider from Aldi, stay there Ryan, for 169 a bottle. Great Ryan. For the non-drinkers is a recommendation. Al Cafe Barista Moments from Aldi. Really nice. And here's one for the kids. Sun quench, apple and blackcurrant, double strength squash. And here's another holiday recommendation. British semi-skinned milk from Aldi. Long life milk, six cartons, lasted a week. And here's a recommendation for the dog, fetch. Oh, what's he got? He's got a tennis ball. And that's a recommendation. Keeps him quiet, entertains him for a bit. Really entertained him when it was raining. And it keeps him quiet. As you can tell, he's listening. You probably want to bark, don't you? And you fetch it. Yes. Oh. Is he ready? Is he ready? Oh, good catch. Goodbye. Goodbye. What's he got? What's he got? Hey. What's he got? And goodbye. You ready? 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 Push it. Push it around. So I've had some recommendations for a bit of fun. <laughs> you may buy it, but I love him to bits, don't I? Eh? MrConfused.com The solar light that I've made. Lights up quite well. Got my heater on, so it's good night. <sighs> Got 
Good morning. It's seven twenty-eight, and he's woke up. Stay there. Okay, so it's eight a.m. on Friday the thirty-first, and we're coming home today. So we're going to get packed up and leave before twelve. So might do a few vids of me packing up, I'm not that sure. But if not, you've been watching me, Paul, at One Man One Dog. It's been a Bilingo Micro Camper Car Camping Holiday video. So, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed making it and I've had a top time camping with the dog and my brother, sister-in-law, and my nieces and nephews, and one of the kids' friends. So if you like this video, consider subscribing, hit the like button and there'll be links up next to a playlist of my car camping videos and there'll be a playlist of a Bilingo Micro Camper conversion from step one of my first building my bed last year, exactly a year ago. So, okay, bye.